In this video, we will look at the timing assembly procedure on the Mercedes-Benz M276 engine. Turn the crankshaft into the ignition position by aligning the 40 degree mark on the crankshaft pulley. After that, do not turn the crankshaft counterclockwise. Making sure that the crankshaft sprocket and the middle sprocket mark are in the appropriate position with the marks on the chain. Please note the left guide rail of the chain is marked 6L and the right guide rail of the chain is 6R. During assembly, first of all, it is necessary to install the chain of the left camshaft on the middle sprocket and align the marks on the chain. Next, install the guide bar of the left chain. Then, install the middle sprocket and align the marks on the crankshaft chain. Then, install the right camshaft chain on the middle sprocket and align the marks. Install the right chain guide rail. Next, install the crankshaft chain tensioner and pull out the tensioner pin. Install the oil pump. Install the oil pump chain with a tensioner. Next, you can install the cylinder heads and install the camshafts in the appropriate position in accordance with the letters on the camshafts. AR is the right exhaust shaft. ER the right intake shaft. EL left intake shaft. AL left exhaust shaft. Before installing the camshafts, lubricate the camshaft bearings with oil. Align the marks on the camshaft gears with the corresponding marks on the chain. Install the pins to install the chain guide rails. Next, install the covers of the camshaft auxiliary bearings and valve covers. Check the working capacity of the chain tensioner. The measured length is standard 74.5 millimeters. Install the pin into the chain tensioner. V6L left camshaft chain tensioner. V6R is the right camshaft chain tensioner. Set the crankshaft pulley to the 40 degree position. Install the tensioners and pull out the pins. Remove all camshaft position sensors to confirm the camshaft installation accuracy. Turn the crankshaft 53 degrees. If there is no 53 degree mark on the pulley, use a 17 millimeter wide adhesive tape and install it after the 40 degree mark. Pay attention to the surface of the camshaft pulse discs. They must be located in the middle of the mounting hole of the camshaft position sensor. There's a second way to check the position of the camshafts. To do this, remove the valve covers and fix the camshafts with special tools. If there is no mark on the pulse discs, you need to draw them using special tools. Select a template for the appropriate camshaft. The templates are marked for the intake and exhaust shafts. When assembling, make sure that all marks on the pulse discs must be aligned horizontally 
with respect to the cylinder head.